Hola, my name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen Alo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook. I am going to demonstrate how to prepare Sancocho, Puerto Rican beef stew, a recipe from my cookbook. Sancocho is very similar to the beef stew in the United States. It is a soup simmered to perfection with beef stew meat, tropical root vegetables, green plantains, and Caribbean pumpkin for a savory dish, a traditional comfort food that is also prepared with plantain dumplings known as bollitas. The dumplings are also referred to as bollitos or bolitas. Let's start with cooking the beef stew meat. Vamos a cocinar primero la carne de res. This is one pound of beef stew meat that has been rinsed and cut into one inch cubes. Aquí tengo una libra de carne de res cortada en cubitos de una pulgada. Pour 10 cups of water into a large pot and bring the water to a boil. Lo primero que vamos a hacer es hervir el agua. The water is boiling, so let's add one tablespoon of light salt or to taste. Añada una cucharada de sal baja en sodio. Stir well. the beef stew meat. Ponga la carne de res en la olla. Give it a quick stir. Cover saucepan with lid and cook for 20 minutes over medium heat. Tape la olla y cueza a fuego moderado por 20 minutos. While the beef stew meat is cooking, let's cut and peel the viandas for the sancocho. The viandas consist of root vegetables, green plantains, and Caribbean pumpkin. Vamos a preparar las viandas para el sancocho. The yuca, jautia, and ñame are considered staples in the Puerto Rican cuisine. These root vegetables are boiled, steamed, fried, or grated for various recipes. For this recipe, you will need all three root vegetables. This is a jaldea known as taro root. It usually measures 8 to 12 inches long. The jaldea has a brown and shaggy skin. The flesh can vary in color from white, yellow, or pink. With a knife, cut both ends of the jaldea. Peel the jaltia with a knife or potato peeler. The jaltia has been cut, peeled, and rinsed. Cut the jaltia into one and a half inch chunks. 
This is our yame, referred to as yam. It usually measures from 3 to 5 inches in diameter and 8 to 12 inches long. The yame has a brown thin skin with a rough surface and a white or yellow flesh. Cut both ends of the nyame with a knife. The yame has been cut into one and a half inch to two inch round slices. With a sharp knife, let's peel the nyame. Cut the yame into one and a half inch chunks. This is a yuca, referred to as cassava. It usually measures from two to four inches in diameter and ten to twelve inches long with tapered ends. The yuca has a dark, hard brown rind and a firm, white, starchy flesh that has a stiff cord running lengthwise down the center of the yuca. Cut both ends of the yuca with a knife. This particular yuca measures 12 inches long, so I cut the yuca into three sections crosswise. Peel the yuca with a sharp knife, cutting into the flesh. Let's cut the yuca in half lengthwise. To remove the inner root, insert knife into white flesh underneath the inner root. Lift and pull to remove. Cut the yuca into one inch to one and a half inch chunks. This is a green plantain, a member of the banana family. It is much longer, thicker, and starchier than the familiar banana. It has a yellow flesh. It is very firm. This particular green plantain measures 11 inches long. With a knife, cut both ends of the green plantain. Make several slits lengthwise from top to bottom, barely touching the flesh. Peel the green plantain using your hands.
The green plantain has been cut, peeled, and rinsed. So let's cut the green plantain into one inch to one and a half inch round slices. This is a West Indian pumpkin wedge. These are the seeds and the strings. The flesh is firm and bright orange with a sweet flavor similar to a butternut squash. Remove the strings and the seeds with a spoon or a knife. Peel the pumpkin wedge by inserting a knife between the flesh and the skin. Cut the pumpkin wedges into one inch to one and a half inch chunks. We just finished cutting, peeling, and rinsing the viandas for the sancocho. Ya se cortó, se mondó, y se lavó las viandas para el sancocho. I want to make it clear that you can use the root vegetables of your preference or the root vegetables that you have available at home. Usted puede usar las viandas de su preferencia o la que tenga disponible en su casa. In Puerto Rico, sancocho is also prepared with apio, a root vegetable. Since I'm not fond of apio, it is not added to this dish. For this recipe, you will need two special ingredients. Ají es dulces, sweet peppers, and seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. Here are two quick demonstrations on how to prepare the ají es dulces and how to create your own special blend of seasonings if the seasoning envelopes are not available at your local market. These are our authentic ajillas dulces known as sweet peppers. The sweet peppers will turn yellow, orange, and red if left on the plant long enough. They are sweet with a unique tropical aroma and flavor. Cut the sweet pepper in half and remove the seeds using your thumb. The seasoning envelope with coriander and anato is a special blend of different seasonings, herbs and spices. Its main purpose is to add color and flavor to our tropical cuisine. This is the Goya brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. You can also create your own blend of seasonings by mixing the following ingredients into a bowl. 1 teaspoon of ground coriander, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of light salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and 4 teaspoons of paprika or 4 teaspoons of ground anato seeds. When a recipe calls for one seasoning envelope, add one and a half teaspoons of the mixed ingredients to your dish. After 20 minutes of cooking, the beef stew meat is ready. Ya se cocinó la carne de res. We can now add the following ingredients. One tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Una cucharada de aceite de oliva extra virgen. 
two seasoning envelopes with coriander and a ladle. Dos sobrecitos de sazón con culantro y achote. Three men's garlic cloves. Tres dientes de ajo molidos. Two tablespoons of tomato sauce. Dos cucharadas de salsa de tomate. Three sweet peppers cut in halves. Tres ajíes dulces cortados por la mitad. One quarter cup of chopped onions. Una cuarta taza de cebolla picadita. A quarter cup of chopped green peppers. Una cuarta taza de pimiento verde picadito. Three sprigs of chopped cilantro. Tres ramitas de cilantro picaditas. And two ears of corn cut into one inch slices. Dos mazolcas de maíz cortadas en ruedas de una pulgada. I normally add two chopped culantro leaves, but I harvested all the culantro from my garden several months ago. However, if you live in Puerto Rico or in an area where culantro is available, then add the culantro. Si usted tiene culantro recao, échele dos hojas picaditas. I just finished stirring all the ingredients. Cover saucepan with lid and cook for five minutes over medium heat. Tape la olla y cueza a fuego moderado por cinco minutos. After five minutes of cooking, we can add the viandas to the saucepan and one medium potato peeled and cut into one inch chunks. Ahora podemos echar las viandas a la olla y con una papa mediana cortada en trozos de una pulgada. The longer the beef simmers and cooks, the more tender the beef will become. Let's stir the ingredients. Mezcle bien los ingredientes. Cover with lid and cook for 40 minutes over medium-low heat or until all the viandas are tender. Tape la olla y cueza a fuego moderado bajo por 40 minutos o hasta que las viandas estén tiernas. The sancocho has been cooking for 20 minutes and the sauce is starting to thicken. Ya el caldo está espesando. As 
I mentioned earlier, the sancocho is prepared with plantain dumplings. While the sancocho is cooking, let's grate two green plantains. Vamos a rayar dos plátanos verdes. And grate the plantains using the super fine blade of a box grater. Usen el lado más fino del rallador. I also wear a cut-resistant glove to avoid cutting my fingers. También me pongo un guante especial para evitar cortarme los dedos. Place the grated green plantains into a bowl and add the following ingredients. Ahora vamos a preparar la masa para las bollitas de plátano. A quarter teaspoon of light salt or to taste. Una cuarta cucharadita de sal baja en sodio o a su gusto. Two tablespoons of skim milk or the milk of your preference, dos cucharadas de leche descremada o la leche que usted desea, one minced garlic clove, un diente de ajo molido. Stir all the ingredients until well blended. Mezcle todo bien. Sancocho has 15 minutes left to cook. Add the plantain mixture using a melon baller or a tablespoon and place on top of broth. Ponga la masa de plátano con cucharadas o con un sacabola de melón en el caldo. with lid and cook over medium-low heat for approximately seven minutes or until the dumplings are cooked. Tape la olla y cueza a fuego moderado bajo por aproximadamente siete minutos o hasta que las bollitas estén cocidas. The sancocho has been cooking now for 40 minutes. The root vegetables are tender and the plantain dumplings are thoroughly cooked. Las viandas están tiernas y las bollitas de plátano están bien cocidas. The sancocho is ready. 
Today, Sancocho is served with a side dish of white rice. El Sancocho se puede acompañar con un plato de arroz blanco. Let's taste the Sancocho. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. The beef stew meat and the root vegetables are very tender. The beef sauce has tons of flavor due to the vegetables, herbs, and seasonings. The plantain dumplings are light and coated with the beef sauce. Mm. El sancocho me quedó riquísimo. La carne de res y las viandas están bien tiernas con mucho sabor. The next day, the sancocho will have more flavor and the sauce will become thicker. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare sancocho, Puerto Rican beef stew. Watch the next segment if you want to reduce your preparation time for sancocho. To save on preparation time for Sancocho, I purchase large quantities of viandas at the Latin market. Once they are cut and peeled to size according to my recipe, they are placed in vacuum seal bags and sealed with a vacuum sealer. I label each bag and store them in the freezer for future use. The next time I am preparing Sancocho, all I have to do is cut the bag across and add the frozen block of viandas to the cooking pot. You will definitely reduce your preparation time by 15 to 30 minutes. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.